Hi everyone, welcome back from More Ground Zero. Kenneth, do you <laughs> drive? No, nope, I don't. Singapore's too small for cars. <laughs> well, you're lucky then, because our stompers have come across some less than pleasant experiences on the road. Mm -hmm. Stomper Luke, for example, came across his uncle who challenged him to boxing, even though he claimed that the uncle was in the wrong. Now, Luke says that this uncle in his late 50s went against the flow of traffic in the car park. Then he parked his car illegally and just walked off, telling Luke that he was going for dinner. His car was obstructing traffic as a result, but he refused to budge. He only moved, although reluctantly, after security officers spoke to him. Stomper Hellboy gave his two cents worth, saying that we live in a society which means that we have to give and take with those living in the same area. If both parties insist that they are right, fights will often break out, and it's incidents like these that cause Singaporeans to be seen as ungracious in the eyes of the world. Stumper LYK10001 says, Owning a car is always troublesome. Once you find a parking place, always facing outside barbarians. There were many cases in Stump where people were complaining about, if not a car blocking the one way that another car cannot enter. Yeah, and well, I guess you can always say that there are two sides to a story and you never really knew what their uncle was thinking. Moving on, Stumper CK said that he encountered another root driver who refused to admit that he was in the wrong. CK was driving along the road when the other driver forced his way into his lane and even stopped his car to block him. When CK tried to pass, he even rolled down the window and shouted at him. Once again, fellow stoppers weigh in. Unknown guy 79 says, People won't just cut in and stop their cars without any traffic in front. Either the stopper did some dangerous stunt earlier to make this driver take revenge, or this driver just escaped from IMH. Can't always hear a one-sided story, you know? True. Stumper Asia Road Warrior also says this could be a video of 90% of the Singapore drivers. Road discipline is very, very poor here and quality of driving standard is extremely low. You know, actually in driving lessons, I'm always told to give way to pedestrians and all other road users alike whenever possible. But hearing this, I'm not sure if, you know, I, I, I want to drive on the road. <laughs> <laughs> well, best of luck to you once you start driving on Singapore roads. Not all motorists are as lucky as CK who managed to avoid a collision. Stomper OCH was making a turn at a traffic light junction when a motorcyclist cut in front of him and caused a collision. The motorcyclist even demanded that OCH pay for the damage caused. Thankfully, OCH had a video recorder installed and was able to capture what had happened on tape and submitted it to the insurance company. Mm -hmm. And he also advised other users to install video cameras in their cars to settle such disputes, especially when it involves two contradictory statements. Stumper listener said, Ha, he's broke and out there to make some cash. Good try, biker. <laughs> but why would you want to put your life in danger like that, right? I'm sure there are much better ways to make money, you know? Safer true, ways. True, definitely. Yeah. Other bikers also spoke up and assured OCH that he was not in the wrong. Stumper Samsung Galaxy said he was offended by this rider and riders do not squeeze into the lane while filtering to the left. They're taught to stay behind the left side of the car. Well, I guess the bottom line when it comes to exercising good road etiquette is to understand that we are sharing the road with you know everyone else. Be aware and simply not compromise the safety of yourself or those around you. Next up, we take a look at bad service from the cabbies.